Page 106, A New Day. On page 105, they're talking a little bit about hand over hand. Arpeggios. An arpeggio is a broken chord going up or down. That's the pattern for the chord. Because a broken chord can be any pattern. So if you look at the top of page 105, the first those notes in the first measure is a C chord. Second measure, it's a C chord. If I play them one at a time, it's a broken chord. When they're in this pattern, we call it an arpeggio. Big fancy word. It simply means the notes are one at a time going up or going down. Speed doesn't matter. It'd be fast or slow. That's not important. So what we're doing here is we're going to learn to do this with the hands going across. And I, This is one of the things I used to love to do when I was little. Huh. And it, the idea is keep it even and smooth. So we do that. Then you have to take the left hand over to play the top C. But leave your right hand there because now you're going to come back down and move the left hand down. And do it all evenly. So you move the hand over before you need it there while you're playing these other notes. Get it there. And then get it back down while you're playing these other notes. And that's it. So then C minor, just adding the, adding the E flat. Now, they want you to continue, use, do all the white keys this way, until you get up there, all the way up through here, I guess, I'm not sure. You can do that on your own, I don't know that, just as long as you understand what we're doing. Because in New Day, we need to do this. So let's look at the beginning of this. This is in 3-4 time, no sharps or flats. It's either C major or A minor, and if we look at the end, we're ending on C's. Here, here, and here. So my guess is it's going to be C major. At the beginning, we have in the right hand here, and the left hand, you're clear down here. And we kind of have to take both hands together here. So we're here, and then second major, it's right hand, the r eight's right hand. It's here. Then the left hand, you cross over. Then the right hand, do the next one. And then the next line, you're on D. Left hand, right hand, you see the R, H, and L, H, just that this whole piece is that way. You're just constantly moving around. The trick is smooth and even, no hesitations, no glitches, no wrong notes, all even. So, that poses a problem. Because you got to read the notes, but you also got to look down at the keyboard because you're constantly moving around. I mean, it's like, what? Wow, do I look here? Do I look there? Well, that's another skill we develop in piano playing: is we learn when to look at the music and when to look at the keyboard. Because I've been encouraging you. I hopefully I encouraged you a long time ago. Try not to look at the keyboard if you don't have to. That's just kind of an idea, and that helps to prepare you for this because sometimes you have to. So now it's like, okay, I'm, I got the first one, and as I'm doing this, I'm looking ahead, and I see my right hand needs to be here, so I get my right, I look down to get my right hand there, and then I can look up as the right hand is playing to see what's coming. I see the left hand's gotta go over here, so I gotta look down and get the left hand there. Now I'm looking up to see what's coming, and now the right hand's gotta come up here, and it, it's, like, it's a horse race. But with practice, you'll get this, flow going where you're looking it takes practice lots of practice when you played it a million years like me then you can speed it up and it flows and it's all nice until then you go real slow as slow as you got it go so it's smooth and even, no hesitations at all, and you're, you're looking up and you're getting the hang of this, looking up and looking down. Doesn't matter how fast you go, just smooth and even. Go real, 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 real slow. That's what's important. This whole piece is that way. MF at the beginning, and the whole thing's melody. Don't worry about it. That's medium loud, moderately loud, whatever. 
and that's pretty much it. It's just medium loud. It's all just medium loud. Well, as you if you learn the piece well, if you can come up and down with it, you can feel it. If you feel like getting a little softer, get a little softer. If you feel like getting a little louder, get a little louder. That's just sort of a guide in the middle. Generally speaking, it's moderately loud. Now, on page 107, in the next to the last line, you see an RIT, the retardando, means you're going to slow down here. And then the last line, you see the all tempo. That means resume whatever speed you were doing before you changed the speed, before you slowed down. So there, all of a sudden, we're back to our one, two, three, one, whatever, and then the last line. And there, it says resume original speed. That's not, you have to be careful, because you can resume your speed you were doing, your, I guess they call original speed, or you can resume the first speed, because a piece can change speeds any number of times in the piece. So you have to be careful on that. Sometimes they tell you, go back to the first speed you were doing. So in other times, like there, they're saying, well, just go back to the speed you were doing before you changed it. There's a difference. And that's pretty much all there is. It. And then, of course, the whole thing is pedal. Legato pedal, you're changing the pedal when you change the harmony. So you have the pedal down all the first line, and then the second line we change to a new chord. You change the pedal. You play, lift the pedal up and down after you play the first notes in that second line. Same thing with, it looks like it's each line pretty much, they change the pedal. So, yeah, you can do that. Let's play this together very slowly. Just make sure we can sort of do it. may take you a while to practice this before you can spill it up fast enough to play it with me very slowly. I'll give us three counts because it's a 3-4 time. So the right hand starts here, and the left hand starts here, and the foot's on the pedal. One, ready, go. Three. 